Hello everyone, here is going to be our first video. This is just a basic introductory of the use of Adobe Illustrator, uh, where kind of all the tools are and how to open and create a document. So here I have Adobe Illustrator already open on my computer. Um, if it's not open, if you're on a Mac, it's down here in your dock somewhere, or you can click uh, this little button and search for Illustrator. If you are on a PC, there should also be a search fun uh, function where you can type in Illustrator um, down by the start menu, start menu in the lower left-hand corner. So here is what it should look like, something sort of like this when you open up the program. Um, and to start, we are going to create a new document. So this may already be open when you first open up the program. If not, you'll just have to create new. So these steps I'll give you here are going to be very important, so pay uh, close attention to them and practice it on your own a few times after you watch the video. Um, all of our assignments will have um, kind of very similar, similar ways to this for all the assignments in the future, just how to open um, a document, create a new one, and set it up in the correct way. So. If you look along the top here, yours may look a little different than mine. I have a bunch in here because these are under my recent. Um, but you can go to print. Uh, this just has the basic size that we'll be using, and it's this one called letter. Okay. Again, yours may not have this exact option. If not, that's okay. You can put in um, your own size specifications over here on the right. So here it says points. Always change this to inches. It's just easier to know what an inch is than a specific point. And right now we have eight and a half by 11 inches, and that's what we'll want. It's the same size as a standard piece of paper, and that's a pretty good size to work in. So here you have your orientation if you want it horizontally or vertically. Usually vertical will work best for this class. There may be a time or two when you need it horizontally, but for the most part, um, having a vertical orientation will work for us. Artboards. Right now, and for the most purposes, uh, one artboard will be enough for us. Um, eventually, we'll use more artboards, but to start, just one artboard is fine. These are more um, advanced options. These may be collapsed and kind of hidden here. Um, all of these are fine. Uh, high for your raster effects and CMYK color is fine. This can also be changed later on. So really these are the main ones. You want 8.5 by 11 inches, vertical orientation, and one artboard. Okay, then you just click create and it will look like this. So again, yours might look slightly different than mine. I'll help you show you all the different things to get set up to make it um, the way that we'll want the program to look for us. So the main thing I want you to do, so every time you log on to Illustrator up here in this upper right hand corner where it says Essentials Classic, yours probably starts on Essentials and so it may look like this. I don't know why they have um, these Essentials as kind of this layout, but I find the Essentials Classic is a much better way to have it laid out. So anytime I'm doing uh, these video tutorials tutorials I will be on Essentials Classic so it's best that you are also on Essentials Classic as well um, so you can see and follow along exactly with what I'm doing okay so right here you have all your tools there's a whole bunch of different tools um, to get into we'll go over a lot of these there's um, you know three or four that we'll use a whole lot there's probably five to ten tools that we'll use throughout the class even though there's probably 50 or 60 different tools in here. So we'll get to a chunk of them. Some are more useful than others. Down here, uh, this is your stroke and your fill. Um, this is how you will change the color of the stroke and the fill in your shape, which we will get to in the next video. But these, uh, this is an important thing to know where this is. And then you have a bunch of options up here along the top. These will all come into play later. Um, but just to know that these are different options for things that you can do to your document, to your shapes, and different things in the program. And over here we have a bunch of panels. These are all very useful and all have slightly different purposes as well. 
Um, so these can all be expanded. So you can make these larger or smaller, larger or smaller. And you can, what's nice about these is you can also grab them and pull them out. So you'll find the ones that you end up using a lot. Um, where's layers? This is layers. This is one we'll end up using a lot. So sometimes if I use one a whole lot, I'll pull it out. You can also put your mouse down here in the bottom and resize it. So I'll usually have this layers one sitting out so it stays out while I'm working. Uh, no matter what I'm doing over here, if I'm drawing shapes, doing different things, this layers will stay out. Okay. So that's just a general introduction into opening up and creating a document. Um, kind of go through uh, those first steps of creating a document with the, that's the correct size, with the correct number of artboards, and um, then be on the lookout for the next video where we'll go over how to create shapes and uh, change the color of those shapes as well.